So you can always use Wix to also send out invoices. So this is the next big topic. If you are inside your dashboard, you see here getting paid. So we can click on it and you have various options to get paid. For example, you can request a payment and you can also sell in person, sell on your website as we just saw. And you can also send a payment link. So I will just send you a link of like, let's say $200 and then people can pay me on my website with Visa, a MasterCard or PayPal via the payment link. But you can also send out proposals and invoices. And I want to show you this so badly because it's really cool. You send out the proposal and it will automatically, when the person accepts the proposal, it will automatically turn into an invoice and Wix will send out the invoice for you. So let's create a proposal and we can just type in, for example, SEO service or SEO consultancy and we can select a customer. For example, I would just, for the purpose of this video, I will just select me, but you can add a new contact. And the cool part is if someone contacts you via the contact form, they will automatically be in your customer base and then you can select them from down here and you can always edit the customer later and add delivery address and phone number and so on. But yeah, just select me here and then we can say when the proposal will expire. Usually it's set to 30 days after we send it out, but you can set this up in the settings later on. And we can add a catalog item or just a custom item. So we say SEO services and the quantity is just one because it's like a one-off gig and we say this costs us thousand and two hundred dollars and we can add a text so you can add a service text this is currently zero but if we set this up under settings it will automatically add the service text here and add a description just type it in and you can also add more items. So for example, website creation, describe the service, what you will do for them. And website might be a little bit more expensive, $2,000 and also a service tax. And then the proposal will say, okay, in total, we will get $3,200 from our client for the service and the charge one-time payment in 30 days when it's due. And we can also ask for a deposit. So when we start the work, they will already pay us, let's say 20% of the amount. You can also split this into multiple payments. Again, you see how flexible Wix is. Uh, it's quite nice that you can split this. And if you sell higher ticket items, then and people can pay you individually on multiple occasions. And here we can enable the automated invoices. So people will, when they accept this, will automatically get the invoice. So I will show you this. Then you can click next. We set everything up here. Then you can choose from a proposal template. I would recommend getting a basic one, but you have a branding design template an inventory management e-commerce proposal. But I will just preview this one and I think it's fine basic proposal template da, 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 da. okay it's fine so i use this template and now from within wix we can send this so we have the proposal name and prepared for the client name and written by julian's tutorial and here's already our email address and everything is on there so you can give this section also a title if you want and here you can just enter different names and the cool part is the person can sign it so it's already signed by us Julian's tutorial but if someone now receives this proposal they can sign the proposal so you don't need any service like hello sign or DocuSign because you already have this within Wix so this is pretty cool that the person can directly sign this within Wix and yeah just make it your own you have some building blocks here so text divider form gallery so you can even add some pictures if you want to sell a product to someone you can add a picture or a video of the product and also tables so this is very flexible and you have a lot of different options to choose from and it's just a normal editor where you can add your name your logo and so on but for now I think this is pretty clear. It works similar to what we've seen with the emails. So I can click on preview. So the name is SEO consultancy prepared for Julian Weber from Julian Weber because I don't have a second address or name in my contact database here on this dummy site, but I think it's okay. So we can share it. And now it's pretty cool. We can either share the link within our own email or we can directly send this via email to the address of our contact, which we have saved. So I can click on send proposal and now it's sent.
So now I received the proposal in my Gmail account here and it says, hey, Julian, click below to view and sign the proposal. And then I can click on the button and it will bring me to this page. And here I see the proposal and the client would now go through. And the best part is they can, for example, contact Julian's tutorials here now via email directly, or they can just go ahead and sign the proposal. So let's click on sign. And now I can go ahead and type in my name, which is also Julian Weber, or can draw a signature. So I can go ahead and try this. <laughs> so this is quite nice, Julian. So I would have signed the proposal myself and then click sign. Yeah, I will just use this one and click sign. As the client, I would now download the copy of the contract. And now the proposal is signed by both parties and you can start delivering and you can see that they need to make a deposit here of $640 in advanced. And now the cool part, if we go back, we see the proposal here. And since I have accepted the proposal, I would also should see the invoice directly created in my account. Yeah, now this invoice was directly created and already sent. So if I go back to Gmail, then you can see I already received the invoice here and I can go ahead and view the invoice. And now people can print the invoice, download the invoice and pay the invoice directly on my side. Ideally, what I do, I always put in my bank account details so people don't pay me via credit card or via PayPal because remember, we pay 2.9% for the entire thing. So this will be 90 euros for $3,200. So to avoid that, we want to have them wire us the money to our bank account to avoid these high payment fees. But if you have some services services which cost like $200 or something which where the payment fees are less then you can click on pay invoice and then they can directly pay this on my website here julian minus tutorials and they can choose the credit card option type in their first name last name address and then they can pay the amount which was due and after we delivered the service then they can pay the total invoice which is quite nice so this is the functionality of sending out proposals and invoices within wix and i just wanted to show you this because this is perfect for any agency like an smma agency agency, like a social media marketing agency, you can directly create your proposals from within Wix, even make it pretty with the templates and the client can also sign this. So you don't need DocuSign, you don't need HelloSign and you don't have to care about anything because it will be directly sending out the invoice afterwards and you can see everything on your phone and even send out invoices from your mobile phone. There's this app called Wix Studio app and you can manage your whole website and the invoices from within the app on your mobile phone. So I think this is pretty cool. 